The Whithall Interpretive Center at River Fork Ranch Project is a collaborative effort to restore man-altered wetlands to their original natural state and, based on an existing ranch house, build an interpretive visitor center to educate curious minds for generations to come. Well, the Nature Conservancy typically uses a collaborative approach to everything we do, and that's one of our strengths in bringing together really diverse people to gain consensus on our projects when we're working to protect and conserve uh, biodiversity in an area. The Visitor Center project is no different. We're working with a, a very diverse group of people from architects to donors to philanthropy people to community leaders and bringing all of those people together to create a shared vision is very important to us. Other key contributors include local landowners, scientists, governmental agencies and various nonprofit groups. With the project now well underway, all those involved are pleased to see their efforts begin to come to fruition. We're really excited in the future with the prospect of having school children of all ages, um, elementary, high school, through college, out here on our property, not only seeing the visitor center, but on our nature trails, out interacting with the environment. And of course education is, is, is the essential ingredient because if the children don't see what the natural river system is like, then they're going to be less inclined to be concerned about it. More than just a visitor center, the Whit Hall Interpretive Center at River Fork Ranch is a unique project for the Nature Conservancy, which is generally known for acquiring and protecting lands around the world. The goal is that it will reshape the way people experience and think about land and water protection strategies in a traditional working landscape. The ability to use this resource as a teaching tool for our children in the future is very important. I think there's an increased perception amongst people globally in the need to protect land. We need to be mindful of future generations and all that we do, and I think that we're seeing more and more of that in the current generation. I think, again, the mass desire for sustainable design that's now happening is infecting the schools in a way that's really positive, and, and this building is demonstrating that. This is, the, this is the process of building until we finally see our dream come true. The Nature Conservancy. Protecting nature, preserving life. This video was made possible by a generous grant from the Francis C. and William P. Smallwood Foundation.